So why do I spend so much time talking about functions? It's because this is actually a really easy little algebra topic that usually appears on the GED test and it only takes a couple of minutes to learn. So if you have two of these on your test, you might boost your score um, two, three, four, even five points um, just based on um, knowing this one topic that's easy to teach. So anyway, here's another function question. So let's take a look. It says, which point could be removed to make the following relationship a function. And now currently this graph does not represent a function because um, you know the function test on a graph is what we call a vertical line test. You run a, let me pull out my pen here, you run a vertical line across the graph and see if you can ever find more than one point on a vertical line. Um, and this particular uh, graph does fail a vertical line test. If you want to know more about a vertical line test, go back and check some of the other videos. I talk about that in detail. But I'll just show you where it fails. Right here it fails. Boom, boom, boom. Right here on this particular vertical line on this graph, I can catch two points. That means these two points both intersect right here at 2, they would have the same x value. They would both have an x value of 2 because they're on the same vertical line. Um, this one is the point 2, 2. Uh, this one looks like the point 2, negative 1, 2, 3, maybe negative 3. And we could see because they're on the same vertical line, they would have the same input value, the same x, but a different output value, a different y. And that's the one thing you can't have in a function. And so those two points are the problem with this graph right now. They're the reason why it's not a function. So if I wanted to remove a point in order to make it a function, I'd have to remove one of these points. So there's actually two right answers to this question. You could answer either way. And if you had this on the GED, it would likely be a multiple choice. So either one of those could have been uh, the multiple choice answer. So you could answer for me 2, 2. Or you could answer for me the point 2, negative 3. So this is the point 2, 2 because it's 2 over and 2 up. And this is the point 2, negative 3 because it's 2 over and 3 down. Okay, so either one of those points, do make sure you use parentheses or you're not talking about a point, you're talking about a list of numbers. Um, and that's how you would write your answer.